In terms of taking old school information and practices and making them relevant to modern life, I now want to share a quote with you from a man named Horace Fletcher, also known as the Great Masticator, who famously created a practice called Fletcherizing. So Horace Fletcher was around in the late 1800s and early 1900s, so he had an interesting way of speaking. So here's what he said. Eat somewhat less, but eat it more. Would you be hardy beyond four score? Eat not at all in worried mood, or suffer harm from the best of food. Don't gobble your food, but Fletcherize. Each morsel you eat, if you'd be wise. Don't cause your blood pressure ever to rise by prizing your menu by its size. So all Victorian era rap lyrics aside, Horace Fletcher's philosophy was based on the idea that the more you chewed your food, the easier it was to digest, as chewing creates more amylase in your mouth. And amylase is the primary carbohydrate digestive enzyme. Now, as the world's first chewing guru, Fletcher preached that for optimal absorption of food, it must be re reduced to tiny particles and blended evenly with your saliva. So, in other words, to prevent the loss of nutrients over the course of digestion, people following this plan had to transform their mouths into primitive kitchen gadgets, uh, somewhere between a Vitamix and a sous vide machine. Also, it was a dignified practice of high society in the late 1800s and early 1900s with the likes of Mark Twain, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Franz Kafka, Thomas Edison, and John D. Rockefeller all trying their hands and mouths at Fletcherizing. <laughs>